Within Thailand society, there is a continuous increase in coffee consumption where the approximate global consumption is rising by an average of 15% per year. Due to Thailand's inability to thoroughly manage their waste sorting system, spent coffee grounds accumulate in landfills where the biggest environmental concern is posed, the greenhouse gas production. Landfills generally emit methane, a gas that is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Methane traps 86 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide, making it a serious threat to our environment since it is responsible for nearly 20% of the planet's warming and is a significant contributor to global warming and overall climate change. However, even with this present day problem, coffee consumption is unlikely to decrease in the long run. To combat this issue, we as students have proposed a DIY project that will help mitigate this environmental problem. Instead of coffee grounds ending up in the garbage and eventually in landfills, coffee grounds can be repurposed into a sustainable product, a body scrub soap. For the objective, the first objective is to reduce the amount of coffee waste by repurposing them into soap scrubs. Our objective indicator is measuring the amount of coffee grout that our group used to make the soap scrubs. Sending out Google Forms and asking people how many coffee grout ways have been reduced. Our second objective is to create understanding amongst the people about coffee ways by spreading information through Instagram and TikTok. Our objective indicators is will follower insight from the social media platform and the results of the Google Forms. There are two methods we have used for our project. The method for the first objective is create a product that reduces coffee ground waste, which we successfully made soap scrubs from the leftover coffee ground, yogurt, and soap base. We also did measurement on the amount of coffee ground in one Nespresso capsule and also in soap scrub. One Nespresso capsule contains 7 grams of coffee grounds, one bar of soap contains 12.8 grams of coffee grounds, and we used 128 grams of coffee grounds to make 10 bars of soap scrubs, and each of the soap scrub weighed approximately 30 to 40 grams. We then sent out the survey asking how much coffee grounds the respondents have used and reduced from turning the coffee ground into useful products too. Next. The method for our second objective, we've raised awareness and create understandings of coffee ground waste through social media accounts, which we have created Instagram and TikTok business accounts to observe the insights and engagement such as views, shares, and likes. We posted nine infographics about facts of coffee ground waste on Instagram posts and shared them in the stories. We also posted videos on TikTok about how to make soap scrubs and how to use them and benefits of them to promote the actions of reducing coffee ground waste. Then, we sent out survey asking how much they have learned from our posts and videos to see the effectiveness. We posted the link on the survey on our Instagram account bio so people can easily access the survey after they have read our information. So for our results, we were able to successfully make the soap scrubs in which can be seen in figure one. And we also sent out the soap scrubs for others to test out in which the feedback was that the soap scrub had worked. And you can see our video demonstration in figure two. For our social media results, we can see in figure three that our Instagram account was able to get in total of 54 followers and 1,346 impressions, in which means that we were able to be seen by quite a lot of people. We can also see in figure three that we were able to receive 462 profile visits, in which we can assume that people had seen our infographics. Um, this is also supported by looking at figure four on our 269 post interactions and 35 shares. As for our TikTok, while the amount of followers and views might be low, we had posted those videos onto our Instagram in which those had garnered around 60 to 70 views. For our Google form results, we were able to collect 42 responses. 
Looking at figure six, we asked people whether they knew about coffee waste or not, in which 47.6% people didn't, while 52.4% people did. In figure seven, we asked whether there were any Nespresso drinkers, in which 59.5% people said no, while 40.5% people said that they did. Looking at figure eight, for the 17 people who were Nespresso drinkers, they were then asked the amount of capsules they use weekly, in which nine people said around one to three capsules, followed by three people saying four to six, and three people saying seven to nine, and lastly, two people saying 10 to 12 capsules. Um, the Nespresso drinkers were also asked after using the capsules, what did they do with the leftovers, in which majority said they throw it away, while one said that they use it for fertilizer. In figure 9, we can see that for those who didn't drink Nespresso, they were asked how many cups of coffee they drank weekly, in which 84% said 1 to 3 cups, while 12% said 7 to 9, and lastly, 4% or 1 person said 4 to 6 cups. They were then asked how much coffee waste is left for the amount of coffee cups they drink, in which most said they didn't know, and one had said that they knew, in which was 15 grams. We also asked people to give us a fact on what they had learned from our infographics, in which some had talked about the amount of coffee waste there is, some had talked about how coffee grounds can be reused into other products such as cosmetics, some had talked about the contribution of coffee waste in generating greenhouse gases, in which while the results had varied, they were all valid as they were information that were from our infographics. This can lead us to assume that they were able to look over our infographics and learn something from them. And in figure 10, we then asked about the willingness of utilizing coffee grounds as soap scrubs, in which the results were that 54.6% people said yes, while 45.2% people said no. We also asked people on how many grams of coffee grounds they would use if they were to make the soap, in which majority had said um, 200 grams, followed by some saying 50 grams, 30 to 40 grams, 10 to 20 grams, and also some people saying that they would use the same amount as our video. Lastly, in figure 11, we asked in our form for people to rate the importance of coffee waste, in which majority of the people rated at a 4 and a 5, in which they find it important, followed by 13 people um, in the middle, and also, lastly, one person finding the issue of coffee waste not important and labeling it as 1. I've come to the discussions of our project. I would say that we are successful in terms of accomplishing our goals and we have reached the result that we are expecting. We are measuring and evaluating our results accordingly to the responses in Google Form, the views we have received in TikTok and Instagram, the numbers of followers, the numbers of likes, and other interactions. We mainly focus on the interactions in this project. Therefore, the results reach our expectations and are similar to our own hypotheses. This is because more people are starting to see the importance of coffee waste and their solutions toward this problem is like how we have mentioned in our infographics and videos. However, during the making of this project, we have faced several limitations and difficulties. We have to change from overconsumption of food waste into the increase of coffee consumption. We also change our topic from food waste to coffee waste. We are limited by the spread of COVID-19 and its third wave. Therefore, we were unable to meet each other in the faculty or in person during the time we were doing this project. We were not able to make the soap together, so one member made the soap all by herself and that shouldn't happen. We have experienced some difficulties in communication between our group and our professors. We only met in person twice and other times we communicate through online Microsoft team and phone calls, which were not very effective. 
We have shared our Google Forms through various groups of friends and students. Many of them find difficulties regarding our infographics as they have heard about us through other platforms, not through our Instagram where we have posted the infographics. From me to we, we as a group and as the world citizen have felt more concerned about our environment the issues of global warming and greenhouse gas and other issues as well. We have learned how our simple actions such as drinking coffee can create a wide impact on our environment and on our world. Through our researches and methodologies, we have learned a great deal on how to solve this problem and how easy it is for us to take actions to make a better future. I believe that's more steps as a whole would make a huge change. There are several benefits such as environmental, social, and economical. The environmental benefits are such as reduce all food waste and help sustain the environment, the decrease in the waste disposal process and waste in landfills, the lessen toxic pollution and the decrease in global warming. The social Benefits. Benefits are like generating of a less food waste in the society. We also create more social interactions and increase activities in which people in the society, like friends and families, can do together. There are also some economical benefits such as regenerated new ideas for business, business and profits. We develop a circular economy and increase brands' reputation by making them able to create products that are more sustainable. We create new markets and new products. Coming to talk about the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, I believe that we have reached three items. The first item is goal 12, responsible consumption and production. By making soap scrubs from reused coffee grounds and inspiring others, we are taking responsibility from the consumption and production of this food waste, of the coffee waste. When we accomplish this, other businesses will start to produce products from food waste, such as coffee grounds, and develop a circular economy. The second item is goal 13, the climate change. Our project will have a positive effect on global warming. It will decrease the food waste, the land use, waste disposal process, and pollution. It is assumed to help sustain the environment. The third item is Gold 15, which is life on land. Because the decrease in food waste in land use and pollution, people, animals, and other living things will have a better life. In conclusion, as coffee consumption in Thailand is rising at a rate of 15% per year, coffee waste methane emission contributes as a threat to global warming. So our team here is encouraging Nespresso users or coffee drinkers in Thailand to reutilize their spent coffee grounds as soap scrubs. Since soap scrubs are really simple to make and exert incredible skin benefits to users. We hope that our Instagram page and TikTok account can help people to understand that spent coffee grounds value is beyond just waste, but an ingredient that benefits humans without the use of harmful chemicals. Some recommendation to the policy makers in July is, we suggest that July Longkong University can initiate a campaign for collecting spent coffee grounds, or SCG, from students, staff, public, and nearby cafes for academic research purposes or environmental purposes. For academic purpose, they could collect these grounds and send it to Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, where they can research on the use of spent coffee grounds in pharmaceutical products, and could also send it to School of Agricultural Resources, which they will perform research on the usage of agricultural fertilizers with SCG. And also, Energy Research Institute in July can research about the application of spent coffee grounds as biofuel or biodiesel. And 
also Department of Food Technology, where they can find out the antioxidants and the benefits in SCG and apply it into food technology. Also, the collected coffee grounds could improve Jula's campus environment, where they can set up collection bins around Jula Longguan University for CU gardeners to use as an alternative soil fertilizers. And this campaign could be a really great marketing for Jula Longguan University, which serves as a sustainable branding for the school. As for recommendation to future work, we suggest if students were to study about the spent coffee grounds, they could expand on the utilization of spent coffee grounds to like um, larger scale industries like the energy or agricultural business. Um, they could research deeper about the use of coffee grounds as a future source of energy to power cars or maybe factories. And also they could integrate emerging technologies to design a smart waste management system specifically for coffee waste. For example, a reverse vending machine that collects coffee waste from the public and this machine can reward the recycler. All right, we would like to thank the Man and Environment Teaching Management Team, especially our primary supervisor, Dr. Orawan, and also along with the supporting supervisors and our beloved professors, Dr. Pong Chai and Dr. Nontiwit. And also special thanks to all the 42 participants who took their time to fill our survey. And that concludes our presentation. We hope that you can understand the value of coffee grounds and apply it in the future 